George Lopez and his daughter Maya have returned to NBC to put the fun back in dysfunctional family comedy. This season there will be big life changes for Maya and the entire Lopez family while George takes his first step in sobriety. Here to tell us more about what we can expect, we have George Lopez himself. George, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. Yes, nice to see you both, yeah. Oh, okay, so tell exciting. us what everyone at home can expect yeah. this season of Lopez versus Lopez. Well, you know, this season, um, we're dealing with a little bit of, you know, my sobriety, and I think in real life, I think it was time, you know, I've had some great uh, experiences uh, um, on the road. One time I went to a, a, the Four Seasons in, in Houston, and I, so, I told the guy, What's the biggest tip you ever got? He goes, somebody gave you $500 one time. I said, get, get out of here, $500 for taking the bags up. So I gave him 600 and I said, who gave you the 500 And he said, you did last week when you were here. I didn't remember. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we know you're working with your real-life daughter. Does the show mimic yep. your relationship you have with your daughter or even other characters on the show? Uh, the show does mimic. I think television is exaggeration. You know, there was mm -hmm. years mine and I didn't speak, and, and that's what this kind of show is based on. But also, um, it's really, really funny. Mine's done a really good job. And so we take some of the instances in our life of, you know, anxiety and, and things like that and, and kind of, you know, uh, other parents in schools and, and things. Uh, 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 we'll try to toughen them up, the kids up. And uh, it's been pretty exciting. I mean, the, the cast is great. The show people respond to, but the, a real life uh, uh, father and daughter on TV uh, in a show that appears to be, you know, uh, gaining momentum and is successful, I think is, is rare. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and very relatable uh -huh. storylines. Well, George, your character is taking his first steps in sobriety. How do you keep it both funny mm -hmm. and serious? You know, I, one of the things I, I, I think the, the backbone of the stand up is that you're able to talk about things that can be very dramatic and, and sad. I mean, the, the vulnerability. And then the the change of, uh, it's almost like cheese, you know, it could be very really sharp and then, you know, it smooths <laughs> out. Um, but I think, but I think if, if an actor were to do it, I think it'd be m more difficult, but the actual guy who's written it and who can, who can feel it and then is delivering it, I believe has helped me in my first show. And also I, I think that in in those moments in, in, in this show that already have, have gravitated people toward the show and mine coming from me and, and, and being funny your whole life as well, um, I, I believe that people are uh, are finding that and enjoying that. Yeah, that has to be a proud moment for you. But I, I know this season you have a lot of big names guest starring. Former Seahawks and Raiders running back Marshawn Lynch. He guest stars in tonight's episode. What's it like getting to work with new people on the show from week to week and mixing them in with the cast? Yeah, I mean, Marshawn Lynch is great. That's Jim Plunkett with him, the Raider quarterback, two-time champion. And, uh, you know, we've had, like, you know, Michael Irby from Mayans and, and Barry, who's great in Barry, Diana Maria Riva, Jaime Camille, who was in Jane the Virgin, big popular show for a long time. Uh, Cheech and Chong are, are on tonight. So, you know, guys that have been my friends for a long time and people that I've idolized, but also people in reality, Brock and Sheena from uh, Vanderpump are on and Lisa Renna's on in uh, upcoming episodes. Um, the fact that it's kind of been a, a kind of a hip show to do and really not tough for us to get people to come on is exciting because those are the shows that you see people on that uh, because it's kind of fun to do it becomes a cool show. Okay George mm -hmm. before we let you go I know you're a busy guy the children's book series Chupa Carter tell us about it because we love yeah. children's books. Yeah, the, the the first book was really kind of my relationship with the moon. You know, I was always a, I, I would always had this incredible imagination, and I would see the moon. And I felt that it was following me around. Or I would look at the moon and say, like, you know, where are the people I'm going to meet? Where are the people that are going to be in my life? And I got an opportunity to write these books, Chupa Carter, where he kind of meets a chupacabra. And then they go on this adventure and friendship and family and things like that. So I, I, we, I just completed the third book. People seem to really like them, very colorful and age appropriate for, you know, teenagers and, and, and young kids that uh, it's not in any way, you know, uh, frightening to them and it's exciting. And then the it's a trilogy, so the story uh, moves on. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to, you know, have some stories that were that are just for kids. Well, keep doing what all you're doing, all these projects, because we love it. All your fans are loving Thank it. You. Lopez versus Lopez airs tonight at 8 right here on WSAZ. Great talking with you. Thanks, George. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate your time.